What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Daniel Spartan coming back with a brand new video today. I hope that you guys all had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Hope you took your significant others out and you had a, a blast. As for me, I had a great time last night. I went out to Olive Garden, got a little bit of food real quick, and went to watch Deadpool. And I'm gonna tell you something, Deadpool is a shit. Okay, so if you want to watch something that's funny and has gore and shit like that, yo, check out that Deadpool. It was a real good movie. But we'll talk about Deadpool some other time. What I really want to talk about is the Xbox One, okay? So I made a video already um, on the Nintendo NX and my thoughts. I made a video on the PlayStation 4 and my thoughts. And now I'm going to make a video on the Xbox One and my thoughts. But I want to say this right now. And in, in, in no way, shape, or form am I being sponsored or have anything to do with game pay by no Xbox um, or Microsoft people. So let's just get that out of the way. My views are basically on, I own the play, PlayStation 4 and I own the Xbox One. And all I want to do is, I give you my thoughts on what I think about the both, about either or, and you know, give you an honest opinion which way should you go, because I know people are still thinking, should I get an Xbox One or PlayStation 4? Okay, that's basically what I do. I'm a gamer f first and foremost, so I'm not gonna bullshit you, bullshit you, sheet you, or try to tell you, hey, go over here. Nah, fuck all that. I'm not. I don't do all that. Let's tell you what it is. You decide after you watch the video where you want to go and how you want to do things. Okay. So everybody remembers. Let me explain this to you first and foremost. The reason why you look at why the PlayStation 4 outsold the Xbox One, okay, is simply because. The messaging that Microsoft sent out with Dave Patrick the first time around at that E3 was confusing and fucked up. Okay, so basically Dave Patrick came out there giving some fucking bullshit. You know, what I'm saying between the the first time they did they revealed the console and then at E3. Okay, so at when the first time they did they revealed the console, Dave pa Patrick has said some things about like the I think it's the DMR whatever you know and and uh, how to share games and what what would you have to do to share games and how you couldn't share games with somebody else in your house or one of your friends so a lot of gamers were like man fuck you then we don't want to fuck with you right and the and the price was a little bit higher at the time so people were like nah man I'm not I'm not buying an Xbox One right so that alone made Microsoft stumble especially the Xbox One stumble really bad in the beginning so when it stumbled in the beginning. Sony took advantage. They were like, I eat three. Sony was like, Yo, we're gonna sell you the system for three ninety nine, and we and we and you ain't gonna have a problem trying to let somebody use your game. You know what I'm saying? You could just go like this and just use the game. That's as simple as it is. And and it, yo, it killed Xbox One. It killed its momentum completely. It just fucked up Xbox. Okay, so once it did that, everybody jumped on the bandwagon to a PlayStation Four. Let me explain something to everybody, so you guys know right now. Okay, number one, everybody makes it seem right that the that the uh, PlayStation 4 is so much powerful than the Xbox One. And it might be more powerful. But does everybody can any everybody see if 900p is any different than 1080p? Because I'm gonna tell you right now, I can't fucking see the difference. You know? And if I don't know if many of you guys can or y'all can't either. You know, because I'm gonna tell you right now, I see games on the Xbox One that look fucking ma magnificent. I see games on the PS4 that look great. So you know what I'm saying? I don't see that much of a difference between the two fucking um the two graphics. I don't see it. You know, the way I look at it is like this graphics might be important, and they are important in in, in most in some cases, when not. But I'm gonna ask you guys a question: Is gra gra graphics more important than gameplay? If you're having a great time in a, in a game, right? Does it matter what the, what the graphics look like? You know, I understand the graphics look like shit. Then, okay, obviously you don't want to fucking play that shit. But if the game is fucking awesome and the graphics look pretty good, what the fuck does it, what does it, what does it matter? I don't get it. What does it matter? You know what I'm saying? Because what if the game looks amazing and the gameplay sucks and you're not having no fun? What does it matter how great the game looks if you're not having fun? So, so everybody's hung up on... This 1080p and 900p. You know what I'm saying? Y'all hung up. You know, for no reason. And to be honest with you, you can't see the difference. Really. You really can't. Okay? So, that's the, that, that's that's a major thing that people need to understand. The other thing I'm going to tell you is, when you look at Sony's library of games, right? Um, In the last two years that they've come out, they really don't have shit. Okay? Let's be honest. Okay? They really don't have that single player that that, that that first party IP they, they grabs you you're like oh I want to play this Infamous Second Son wasn't shit it wasn't really that great let's just keep it real okay 
It really wasn't that good. The Uncharted collection is great, but that's the only thing that ho that's holding it up right now. Other than everybody giving um, PlayStation third-party um, games, that's really what's holding it up. You know, when you look at Microsoft and the games that they got and the IPs that they got, you know, you could see that they got better IPs, you know, and, and my man Phil Spencer, he's the head of Xbox now. Phil turned this shit around, did a whole 360 and turned the whole company around. And when he did that, he put the company in the right direction. See, because Phil Spencer is a gamer, okay? Right, he he's in a position of power, but he's a gamer at heart. All these other fucking buffoons that they had before, they weren't no fucking gamers. They don't even have a fucking clue what the hell is going on. All they cared about was, oh, we people about we know how to make money, and since we know how to make money, we stand in this position and we dictate what's going to happen. But in reality, that motherfuckers never played a game to understand what the fuck we gamers wanted. Okay, that's the problem with that. But you took your, my man Phil Spencer, he came in, he started popping games. Yo, we're going to put this game, this game, we're going to buy this game, we're going to buy that. And he started making deals, and he turned the shit around. Okay, now let me talk to you about my list of games that the Xbox One has. Okay, they have a total of 14 first priority IPs. Okay, they got Halo franchise. They got Crackdown franchise. Gears of War franchise. Forza 6. And Forza Horizon franchise. They got Quantum Break that comes out later on in April. They got Killer Instinct that they're about to go to season three in March. Okay, sometime in March. They got the original Titan Fall on the Xbox One. They got Rise of the Tomb Raider. And the Rise of the Tomb Raider is coming out to the PlayStation 4 this year. I'm gonna tell you right now, it first came out to the Xbox One. And I'm gonna tell you something. Titan um sorry, Titan Fall. Rise of the Tomb Raider was the best game that I played in 2015. I played Metal Gear and didn't I didn't even finish it. That's how bored I got after a while. I can't even play that shit for that long. I'll play The Witcher. Yeah, Witcher is great, looks pretty and all that shit. But I got tired after a while of, of that, okay? Tomb Raider, I beat the shit out of Tomb Raider because that's how good the game was. And the story was engaging and I just played the hell out of it. And to me, that was my game of 2015, okay? They had Ori and the Ori and the Blind Forest. A little, a little indie game. That shit was phenomenal. Great game, okay? They had Rise. Okay, that first came out with the with, with with um with um the Xbox One, and Rise is a Roman um um type of um, hack and slash game. Okay, it looks real pretty. You know, some people you know criticize a little bit of the gameplay. You know, what I'm saying, but I fucking loved it. So I thought it was, it, it was great. They are about to have Cuphead that comes out sometime, hopefully this year. And Cuphead is more to the 80s classic video games. And you got these two little dudes and they, they're, they're flying around and, and going against um, um, different type of monsters. It looks like Bugs Bunny and them back in those days. Pretty cool. That'll be coming out this year. Sometime this year, hopefully. Um, Halo Wars. I played the original Halo Wars, Halo Wars in the 360. It was a, a strategy type of game, but it was fun as shit. It was in the universe of the Halo. It had great cinematics. And matter of fact, the cinematics... That those people did in Halo Wars are the same dudes that made the cinematics all over again for the Halo Master Chief co collection. So th they got some pedigree under their belt. And the new Halo Wars come out, which is Halo Wars 2, will come out sometime this year. They're saying, okay, they had Max: The Curse of the Brotherhood. That was a great little um, um, indie game. That shit was really really nice and it was fun. They have and Rare Replay. Okay, that's what they they did. You know, saying for anybody that want to play those old like banjo banjo games and all them little other little like um the the, the, the fucking frog there that they got um I forgot the name of those frogs but it's it's it's, it's, it's it, uh, what the hell is the name of those damn frogs um I forgot the the, the name of the frogs that but everybody likes likes the 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 the, the name of uh, the, everybody loves that game with the, with, with the frogs in it. I just forgot what it is because I didn't really never really played in it. Played it, it, but um a lot of people have played it and everybody wants a new new sequel to it. But nothing has been said yet, so we have to wait and see what's going to happen with that. Um the other thing that I could tell you that um that gave Xbox power and. And it was a good thing was when they decided to go backwards compatible. That was a big thing. See, Sony said, no, we're not going to do it because we don't feel like people want to play the, the old games, right? And the problem when they did that, 
it didn't make no fucking sense because you're making HD remakes of the same fucking game that we could have played if you just made it backwards compatible. You know, the Uncharted Collection didn't have to come all, didn't have to come out all over again so we could play the fucking game. It didn't make no sense. You know, yeah, you made it, it you, you you enhanced the graphics and stuff like that. It looks pretty, but in reality, you didn't really have to do that if you would just gave us backwards compatibility. The same thing with um, The Last of Us. You could have done the same thing. We could have played The Last of Us how it was before, but you know, you made an HD remake of it, you know? So, you know, when Xbox announced that, yo, that's great. You know, and the thing is, right, if you own any game on the Xbox 360 digitally, or if it was in the cloud, whatever the case may be, you're going to get that eventually. Because, you know, they haven't rolled out all the games yet. They're still working on the games that are supposed to be coming out. But if you owned it, it will let you know, hey, you got it. You will go to your game library. You will, look in the, you will go all the way over to the right, and you will see um, any other games that you had will be there, and then you just end up ready to install, and then you just install the game, and there you go. You got it again. So, you know, that's a great, that, that, that is a big thing. You know, you don't have to go with Xbox and go be like, oh, I'm going to go buy that game again. Fuck that. You don't have to do that unless you got rid of the game and you didn't never had it digitally, and then you got to go to the store and pick it up for 2 or $3, and then you play it that way. But it don't matter. I mean, the, the point is you can play games that you don't ever have to forget. You know, you can go back and play them, you know, because nobody's going to HD remake every fucking game there is. So that is a big option for Xbox users. So to everybody that asks, hey, listen, should I get an Xbox One? Should I get a PS4? Look, I made two videos, okay? And I'm not the only one. You got other people out there in YouTube that have made two videos about this situation. I made two videos, okay? You decide which one you think is best for you. Where are your friends at? And that's where you go you game go game with your friends at okay that's the way i put it you know which is better well i'm gonna be honest with you and i forgot to mention this but the network on the xbox live is fucking by far greater than, than sony sony every other fucking week the, the 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 network goes down but you don't have that problem with xbox and when xbox goes down it's for one or two hours tops and they, they fix it back up and we're back back rolling again so you know that whole situation there should let you know that where where the strength lies you know, on the Xbox side, where uh, opposed to the Sony, you really don't, you really can't fucking count on the network to always fucking work reliable because the shit falls down every other time. Somebody fucking hacks it and we got a fucking problem and and we get pissed off. And I'll tell you, we get mad as gamers, you know. And I'm and I talked about this shit before in Sony. You, if you really want to go want to look at it, go back to a, a previous video to, on the PlayStation Four and my thoughts, and then you'll see, you know, exactly what I said about that. But um, the network on the Xbox One is really reliable, and, and that's what, what I like. And like I said, man, you know, I'm a gamer. I want to play every fucking game I could get my hands on, so it doesn't really matter where it's at. You know, at the end of the day, it's up to you where you want to go, you know. What what is important to you, where you want to play, and where your friends at. That's, but that's what impo what's important. But for me, okay, for me, a person... That is weighing my thoughts, okay? And this is my opinion, people. So, you know, th this is not some concrete facts. No, this is my opinion, how I feel about it, with the information that I have gathered about both systems, okay? When it goes from the hardware, when it goes from the network, talking about the games, talking about backwards compatible games, I'm going to be honest with you guys straight up. I think Xbox One is the better system because of those qualities, okay? Sony is a great system, guys. I'm not disputing that. But they just don't have enough games, okay? They don't have enough games. Not yet, okay? Now, guys, I want you to understand this. This is key. I play majority of my games. I play my uh, play, play, PlayStation 4. Hands down. My brother's on the PlayStation 4. So when my brother that, that's where I'm at. Me and my brother play together. You know, hopefully by the end of the year, my brother have his Xbox One. And yo, dude, we'll be playing on the Xbox One. But my brother and I play on the PlayStation 4. My friends are on the PlayStation 4. You know what I'm saying? That's where I game, okay? But that's where my friends and my brother is. If my brother was on the Xbox One, guess what? I will be playing on the fucking Xbox One, not the PlayStation 4. Okay? So, so at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? That's how I view it, okay? But... Because there's a PlayStation 4 and there's an Xbox One, I am telling you people this. For me, and my thought is that the Xbox One just has better games. And the network is just solid. You know what I'm saying? It's just solid. It's that simple. You know? 
Sony is doing great things, but Sony's network is fucked, you know. And until they don't fix that problem, your gaming is not always going to be the best. Because you guys got to understand something, and this is for you, especially you gamers out there that want to play um, Tom Clancy The Division, okay? Or you play Rainbow Siege, okay? Or you play Call of Duty, okay? Or you play any game that has to do with online, basically. Let me tell you something. You can't get a guaranteed game on the network of the of the Sony PlayStation just because they know to go down every other week. You know what I'm saying? And that is a big issue when you're trying to decide what system you want. You know, that's a humongous issue when you're trying to decide what system you want because the network. The other thing I want to tell you guys is this. Let me show you guys something. I'm about to show you the Xbox One Elite controller. Okay, this bad boy is $150. Okay, look at this $150. Okay, you could take these off, change them out. You could do, um, like I have, I have concave because that's what I like to play with, and you could put dome on it if you wanted to. Okay, you could change this out as well. This right here is so. So, you know, people like to f play um, fighting games like Killer Instinct on, with these. So you put this on, and what it does is it helps you roll roll your your, your quarter circle um, um, maneuvers a little bit better. Okay? It's sturdy. It's like stainless steel on the top, as you guys can see. The back, it has these little things right here. You see these little things right here? That's so you don't have to use these face buttons for nothing. Okay? These come, these come for shooters. You could bring them... Real, um, because you know, when you're playing shooters, you don't want the, sh the, the, the control, the, the, um, triggers to go all the way down because the longer it takes to go down, the longer it takes for you to take a shot at a person. So, so if you're playing Call of Duty and you have to press all the way down, that if the other person has these trigger stoppers, they're gonna, they're gonna shoot before you even get a chance to shoot, you know what I'm saying? So, that's where the trigger stops are there. But you can also, there's a button here, right here actually it's hard to see those green buttons right there if you push them up you it's so you could press the button all the way down so you want to do car racing game or whatever the case may be okay this bad boy is 150 dollars okay look at this when i'm playing gears of war or any shooter this is boom i hold my trigger in papa i shoot if i have to jump i go like that if i have to um um reload whatever the case may be everything's right here okay sony doesn't have something like this i wish they did but they don't have something like that Okay, and let me tell you something. If you want something like this for your Sony PlayStation, you could go to Scuff. It's gonna cost you like two hundred dollars, and I got and I got one for Scuff, guys. And let me tell you something. The first one that was sent to me, it fucking sucked. Okay, I'm gonna show you my Scuff one for the PlayStation one. All right. The first time these dudes send me one of these, this is my baby right here. Okay, it's the Hulk. All right, that's the color though. I love the Incredible Hulk. So it's the Incredible Hulk color. Okay, see. This is my scuff controller, right? It's a beautiful controller, but the very first time these cats sent me this controller, man, this controller was ass. The fucking square button did not work. I could not reload a gun to save my life, okay? Um, I tried to watch a video on IGN or YouTube. Couldn't watch the video. Every time the controller was on, it will fuck up the 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 um video. It will make a make a buffer. It'll make it stutter. It was just laggy like a motherfucker. You shut off the controller, the video plays just on. I used to go and try to play my my game when while the controller was on. I would go inside Call of Duty. The controller wouldn't fucking work. I would have to shut the controller off, start it again. So what did the scuff do? People told me, was, oh yeah, you know, we had to figure out that there's a certain technology, it has to do with the Bluetooth and we couldn't figure it out and that's why the controller was doing what it was doing. Now these are the same motherfuckers that say on the website, oh, when um, we give you a controller, we make sure that your controller is 100% before we send it out. Fuck you, man. You didn't check nothing. You sent me a fucked up controller, man, okay? And you didn't even give a fuck to check it. Right, you just rushed the shit and sent it out, and I was fucking pissed off when that happened. Okay, I was really pissed off when that happened. That I was trying to get my controller for Christmas, and I couldn't even use the fucking controller for Christmas. I had to send it out and wait fucking three weeks later to get another controller. Some bullshit, right? So, and even though they they sent it to me immediately after that, I had a fucking call because they didn't know where the fuck the controller was, which was even some other bullshit. That fucking controller I showed you cost like two hundred and eight dollars, two hundred ten dollars. Imagine that. Okay, 
For 150, I got a much better controller. So I'm hoping that Sony could work out a deal with somebody and they could actually make them some Sony Elite, some PlayStation 4 Elite controller. Because that would be nice. You think like, that controller is fucking amazing. But um, and that's basically it. You know what I'm saying? In terms of the Xbox One and the PS4. You guys make the decision, which is better for you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever is happy, whatever makes it makes you happy, wherever your friends are, then go out there and game with your friends, okay? Stop worrying about the fucking 900p and the 1080p. Please, people, stop that shit, okay? Unless you could really tell the difference, but then that's a different story, man. And then you do whatever the fuck you want then, and whatever makes you happy. But let me tell you something. If you can't tell the difference, man, just get the system that has the better game, the better system, the better network, and gives you more bang for your money. Okay, that's the way I look at it. You know, if your friends are there gaming, take your ass over there, man. You know what I'm saying? It's as simple as that. Don't let, let me tell you guys something. Don't let some bullshit as exclusivity fuck you up. Just because Call of Duty went all the way over there to PlayStation 4 and they get the shit first, man, don't worry about that shit. It's only fucking 30 days different. Not that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? But don't rob yourself from a good experience playing good games on the system that you want to play because everybody's on a bag wagon of another one. Fuck all that. Be your own person. Be your own leader. Decide where you want to go. But like I said, keep in mind, if your friends are all playing in one system, you might want to take your ass over there because you ain't going to have no friends in the new system. And then that means you're going to have to start over again in new friends, you know, and it's it's, it's, it's kind of hard to get gather new friends and actually have that connection because it can be a pain in the ass sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Um... So tomorrow, um, tomorrow's video, I don't know what we're going we're gonna to talk about. Uh, it might be Deadpool. It might be something. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't really got to what the fuck I want to talk about tomorrow. But what I can tell you guys is this. I'm on I'm, I'm my regular um, vid gaming videos. I'm going to start tomorrow the Street Fighter V um, characters. Um, you know, they don't have much of a story because sometime in March they're going to actually flesh out the story and put it in. But they're going to have some type of art-based kind of explain the story how it's going to be. Kind of like a comic book, I, I believe is what they're saying. But I'm going to be all week doing that. I'm going to be all, all week um, starting. I'm going to beat each character and, and put it up there so you guys can see what it looks like. You know, I'm going to have some fun with that because I've been looking forward to that game. I love Street Fighter. I grew up on Street Fighter. That's all we did was playing Street Fighter. That, Killer Instant, Mortal Kombat. Three games that we always fucking play the shit out of and we had some great time. So I can't wait to do that. I'll probably have some matches against my brother. And eventually I'll post those up, you know. So, and like I said, I'm not a pro at no video game I got. I love playing video games. I'm not no pro and I have a great time with it. So I hope you guys come along with me in the journey. Have some fun. Make fun of me if you want to because I'm probably going to lose some, some matches and shit like that. But I just do it for fun, okay? So with that said and done, hey, listen, guys. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. I have to send a special shout out. Hold on for a second. Wait a minute. I have a new person that subscribed to me, which thank you for all the people that have been subscribing. You know, that's that's really, really special. You know, having people subscribe to me because that means you like my content and I'm very appreciative for it. And I want to send a shout out to Lisa Howard. Thank you, Lisa Howard, for su so for subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. I'll try to not let you guys down. I'll keep on making more content and make, making some good shit and hopefully making you guys laugh. You guys enjoy the video. You guys know what time it is. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. If you want to subscribe, please leave a comment. I do answer the comments. You know, saying I, I was I had a lot of comments on the NX and what I thought, and they had some good, really good questions. I answer right back to them. You know, cause I cause like I said, I read the comments. I like to interact with you people. So if you guys got any questions, anything you want to talk about, hey, send it on over. We'll talk about it, and um and we'll go back and forth. Cause like I said, I enjoy myself um having these um having these um conversations about what's going on in the gaming world and um i don't know i might do a follow-up on the nintendo nx actually tomorrow because i found out some brand new news about you know some plans that they're trying to do so let's see let's see what, what what tomorrow brings you know but um without a shadow of a doubt thank you everybody for watching you guys have yourself a wonderful night it's your boy Tino spartan i'll holler at y'all later peace